So if we have the idea of typical or atypical, or normal and deviant, or abnormal, let's use that, how can we be, ab how are the different ways that we can be abnormal? Did you ever think you would hear that sentence other? Okay, basically, we can be abnormal through delay, or abnormal through Precocity. deviance, right. And precocity is negative delay. So delay and then precocity. Delay means what? The stages are acquired more slowly. Again, time is implied. What's deviance? Stages are acquired or is acquired out of order? Ah. It's quite out of order. The notion of deviance derives from stage theory because stage theory has another implication, and that is that you can't skip a stage. They follow in order. And of course, there are some individuals who didn't get the instruction manual, and so they end up doing things that they ought not to be before they were doing other things that they ought to have. So stage and phase theory, we begin to become interpretive. Milestones, not really very interpretive at all. If there's any interpretation in the, the imaginings of milestones, is, it's that we divide the individual up into motor, language, um, self-care, that sort of thing. Uh, but stages and phases, we begin to imagine something about what's happening. And that's extremely important because the essential element behind the notion of a stage theory or a phase theory is that when an individual is in a phase or in a stage, they are able to do things that they weren't able to do earlier and that there's a consistency in worldview in the stage. You don't have that notion of a consistent worldview in a milestone theory. So you talked about first words. So we have children begin to use single words at about 12 months of age. Children also, um, using a milestone theory, tend to develop what's called object permanence around six to eight months of age. The development of object permanence is a prerequisite uh, to the development of words. You don't get this out of a milestone theory, you get this out of a stage theory. Because if objects are impermanent, there's no need to develop words. There's no need to develop language.